गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो सिलेबस इज कंप्लीट नाउ वी आर रिवाइजिंग ना आज टुडे वी विल रिवाइज यूनिट uh, 23 दैट इज एरिया टुडे वी विल रिवाइज यूनिट 23 एंड द टॉपिक इज एरिया यस फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस मेन पॉइंट्स of this uh, topic then we will discuss few questions of exercise 78 yes friends so first point what is an area what is what is an area the measure of the amount of surface enclosed by a closed bounded figure is called its area suppose we have a figure yes so what is an area the measures of the amount of surface enclosed by a closed bounded figure is known as area now in this figure the shaded part is an area Yes, friends. So next point is area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle. Area of rectangle is length multiplied breadth. so in short form you can write as l multiply b so area of rectangle is length multiply width yes friends next point area of a square area of a square area of square is side multiply side in short form we will uh, we can write as s into s this is the first point is what is an area the measures of the amount of surface enclosed by a closed bounded figure is known as area next is area of rectangle how we can find the area of rectangle area of rectangle is length multiply width next is area of a square area of square is side multiply side yes friends next point is how we can find the length of a rectangle length of rectangle if area is given if area is given and width measure of width is given then how we can find the length of rectangle length of rectangle is length of rectangle is area divided by width simple area divided by width so length of rectangle is area divided by its width next is width of rectangle width of rectangle that is area divided by length so we have to tell the students area 
divide by length. These are main points which you should, you should keep in your mind when we revise exercise 78. These are main points. First is area of rectangle. Area of rectangle is length multiplied width. Area of sphere is side multiplied side. Then how, how, can, how we can find the width of rectangle? Width of rectangle is area divided by its length. Yes, friends? Yes, friends. Now we'll discuss few questions of exercise 78. Uh, I will discuss one or two questions of each type. Yes, friends? Now, exercise 78, your first question is... Yes, friends? We'll discuss in this lecture uh, for one or two questions of each type in this lecture. So after this lecture, you will revise exercise 78. Yes, friends. Now, exercise 78, your first question is find the area of rectangle having dimensions. Having dimensions means length and measure of length and width. Find the area of rectangle Find the area of rectangle And the first question length is uh, 18 cm Eighteen centimeter and width is width is twelve centimeter. Now find its area. Area of rectangle length like this. 18 into 12. Yes, friends. In the side, divide and multiply 18 by 12. So, the answer is 216. 18 divided by 12, we have 216. So it means area of this rectangle is 216 centimeter square. So since area is always written as meter square or centimeter square, imagine if you have, so area of this rectangle is 216 centimeter square. Yes, now next is second question. Find the area of a rectangle whose length is 56 and width is 8.5 cm. Length is length is uh, 56 cm and width is 8.5 cm. Now find its area. Area of rectangle is length multiplied here. 56 multiplied by 8.5. Now, friends, change of side 56 multiplied by 8.5. 56. First, we multiply by 5. 5 is 30. 5 is 
5 power 25 plus 3 28. Now we we'll multiply by 8. 8, 6 are 48. 8, 5 are 40 plus 4, 44. Now friends, we have 0, 8 plus 8, 16. 4, 5, 6, 7 and 4. Yes, friends, now set the decimal point. Now you can see the decimal point after one digit, only 0.5. So from right hand side, we'll left one digit, then put yes. So our answer is 476 centimeter square. 476. So area of this rectangle is 400. 76 centimeter square. Yes, this is the first and second question. Yes, friends. Uh, now it's a question number seven. In this question, find the area of square whose sides is question number seven. Find the area of square. Find the area of sphere whose, whose side is first question seven, 17 centimeter. Now find the area of the sphere. Area of sphere is is side multiply side. Now find the area of the square 17 multiply by 17. Yes, friends. Now the side multiply 17 into 17 is 289. 17 multiplied by 17, we have 289. So, area of this square is 289 centimeter square. Area of this square is Difference. Next is question number nine. Find the area of square whose side is 13.5 cm. Side of square is 13.5 cm. Now area of square is Side into side. 13.5 multiplied 13.5. Now, twelve into of side 13.5 multiply 13.5 into 13.5. First, we'll multiply by 5. 5 power 25. 2. 5, 6, 8, 7, 1. Now multiply by 3. 
Now multiply by 1, 5, 3, 1. Now add 5, 7 plus 5, 12. Twelve, eight, one. Yes, friends. We have eighteen thousand two hundred twenty-five. Now, friends, uh, set the decimal point. Now we are multiplying thirteen point five by thirteen point five. So after decimal, here we have only one digit, one, and one here, one, one, two. So we have two digits after that point. Right? One, two. Now, from right hand side, put decimal point after two digits. One, two. Put here. So our answer is 182.25 centimeter square. The answer is. 182.25 centimeter square. Yes, yes. This ninth question. Yes, friends. Next is 11th question. Find the length of rectangle. Question number 11. Find the length of rectangle. Find the length of rectangle. If area is 104 centimeters square, part A, area is 104 centimeter square. Find the length of rectangle whose area is 104 centimeter square and width, width is 8 centimeter. Now find the length of this rectangle. Length of rectangle is of rectangle. Length of rectangle is area divided by width. Length of rectangle is area divided by width of rectangle. So the area is 104 centimeter and width is 8. Now on the left hand side, uh, divide 104 by 8. Which one are 8? Now 2, next is it is 4, 8, 3 are 24. So width of this rectangle is 13 centimeter. 13 centimeter. Width, uh, sorry, length of uh, this rectangle is 13, centi 13 centimeter. Next is question number 12. Find the width of rectangle whose area and length is given. Square part A. Find the width of rectangle.
find the width of rectangle whose area is uh, 208 centimeter square area is 208 centimeter square and the length is 16 centimeter Now find its uh, width. This area divide by n. Area is two hundred eight, and the length is sixteen. Now, in left hand side, friends, divide 208 by 16. 208 by 16. First, we'll divide by 1. 4 and next digit is 3. 16, 3 are 48. So, width of this rectangle is 13 centimeters. One thirteen thirteen. So your answer is thirteen thirteen. Eleventh and twelfth question of uh, exercise seventy eight. Yes, now we'll discuss few word problems. Now, 13th question is, yes, friends, question number 13. How many pieces of stone slabs, each 24 centimeter long and 15 centimeter broad? will be required to lay a path 18 meter long by 12 meter wide. Yes, friends. According to your statement, how many pieces of stone slabs, each 24 centimeter long and 15 centimeter broad, will be required to lay the path on 18 meter long by 12 meter long? Yes, friends. First, we will find in this question. First, we will find the area of path. Then, we will find the area of each stone slab. Yes, friends. Now, in this statement, uh, area of path is given in meters, and uh, uh, sorry, length and width of path is given in meters, and uh, length and width of stone slab is given in centimeters. So first we'll convert meter into centimeter. For area of path, area of path, length multiply width. Now length is 18 meter. Now convert into centimeters. In one meter we have 100 centimeter. So length is 1800 centimeter. Width is 12 meters. So convert into centimeters, 1200 centimeters. Now find its area. Area of path is 1800 into 1200. Now in the side, multiply 18 and 12. Two hundred six. 
वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर सो एरिया ऑफ पाथ इज टू वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर नाउ फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ स्टोन स्लैब एरिया ऑफ स्टोन स्लैब Once again, length into it. Now length is twenty-four uh, centimeter, and uh, width is fifteen centimeter. Now find its area. Twenty-four multiplied by fifteen. Now twenty-four into fifteen is. Three hundred sixty centimeter square. Yes, friends. Now area of path is this, and area of uh, stone slab is three hundred sixty centimeter. Now find the number of stone slabs required. Number of stone slabs. required first area of path path divided by area of stone slab so since so area of path is and area of uh, stone slab is 360 now since divide And find the answer to divide by thirty six. Thirty six into six is so we get six thousand. So it means. Six thousand stone slabs are required to lay on this path. New yes. students. So, students, in thirteenth question, according to your question, how many pieces of stone slabs? Each twenty-four centimeter long and fifteen centimeter broad will be required to lay a path eighteen meter long by twelve meter wide. Yes, friends. To find this, first we will find the area of path. Dimension of path is given in meters. So first we will convert into centimeters. Because area of stone slab is you know centimeters. So in first step, we will find the area of path. Area of path is length into width eighteen hundred into twelve hundred. This is the area of path. Next is area of stone slab. Once again, length into width. Twenty-four into fifteen. Now we get three hundred sixty centimeter. Now find the number of stone slabs required to lay on this path. So to find this area of path by area of stone slab. Now divide and get. Yes, friends. Now, one question number fourteen. Now, fourteenth question is: How many blocks, each twenty-five meter long and twelve meter wide, will be required to lay on the path? Same method, friends. First, we will find the area of path. Area of path. Length into width. Then we'll find area of uh, each block. 
area of each block once again length into it then at, to find the number of uh, blocks we'll write area of path by area of 